Okay, I wanted to create a short video on finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. And I'm going to use a 2x2 two two matrix. So A is equal to minus 4, 3, 2, and 1. And so we want to go through the steps that we have for finding the eigenvalues first and eigenvectors after that. So the first thing that we know we need to do is we need to set up the determinant of a minus lambda i and set that equal to zero so that we're able to find eigenvectors that are non-zero. So we want the non-zero eigenvectors. And remember that ultimately we've got to solve this homogeneous system of equations to find the eigenvectors. So that's a minus lambda i x equals zero. So our particular problem we have minus 4 minus lambda 3 2 and 1 minus lambda we need to find a determinant of that matrix set it equal to 0 when we take the determinant of this matrix we get minus 4 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda minus 6 that's equal to 0 rearranging and simplifying a bit, we end up with lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 10 equals 0. And so this is our characteristic polynomial. We need to find the zeros of that polynomial. This factors to lambda plus 5 times lambda minus 2. Setting that equal to 0, we get eigenvalues of lambda equals minus 5, let's call that lambda 1, and lambda 2 is equal to 2. Okay, so now we're ready to find the eigenvectors for each of these eigenvalues. So if we start with lambda is equal to minus 5, then we're solving a minus lambda i x equals 0. Substituting that in, and that's the 0 vector there. Substituting that in, we get a minus, minus, so that's plus 5 lambda, x equals to 0. When I plug that into my matrix, I should get minus 4, then plug in minus 5, so that's minus 5 for the lambda, then I have 3. And then I have 2 and 1 minus minus 5 is plus 5. That should be a plus 2 because I'm subtracting. So I'm solving this system of equations. Simplifying that, we get this is equal to 1, 3, 2, 6, x is equal to zero. So I think I've done it correctly because I see that my rows are linearly dependent and that's what we got when we forced the determinant a minus lambda i to be equal to zero. So if I multiply that first row from solving the homogeneous system of equation now one, three, zero is my augment, two, six, zero for the second component of the augment. Multiplying row one, um, let's say I'm going to multiply that by, I guess, minus 2. So minus 2 times row 1 plus row 2 will be the new row 2. And so that will give me 1, 3, 0 for the first row. And then, of course, 0, 0, 0 for the second row. All right. So now I have an equation. That first equation says that x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 0, or there's a relationship between x1 and x2 such that x1 is equal to minus 3x2. So that means that I have an eigenvector that would look like, as its first component, I'd have minus 3x2. As its second component, I have x2. Factoring out the common x2, I get x2 times minus 3, 1. So this tells me that for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to minus 5, I get a corresponding eigenvector x1 
which is equal to any multiple of minus 3, 1. So I've taken care of the first eigenvalue eigenvector pair. The second eigenvalue was 2. So now I'm ready to do the same thing for lambda 2 equals to 2. Again, I'm solving a minus lambda i x is equal to 0, so the homogeneous system of equations. I'm going to plug 2 in for lambda, and I get minus 4 minus 2, 3, 2, and 1 minus 2. That's the a minus lambda i portion, then x equals to 0. Simplifying that, I get minus 4 minus 2, which is minus 6, 3, and then I have 2 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. That's going to be augmented. I'm just going to put that there. Augmented with 0, 0 because I'm solving the homogeneous system of equations. Let's get that in there. Okay, so again, it looks like the second row, if I multiply that by 3, it's the same as the first row, so those rows are linearly dependent. So I could, for example, say I'm going to take um, one-third row 1, add that to row 2, make that the new row 2. If I do that for this augmented system, then I'm going to have minus 6, 3, 0. And then, of course, I have 0, 0, 0 for the second row because of the linear dependence of the two rows. And so now I have a relationship. If I like, I can divide that first row, I guess, by minus 3. So the system then looks like dividing minus 6 by minus 3 gives me 2. 3 divided by minus 3 gives me minus 1 and no effect on the 0. So just so my numbers are a little easier to deal with. So from that equation, I get that 2x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. So 2x1 minus x2 is equal to 0, or 2x1 is equal to x2, or x1 is equal to 1 half x2, depending on how you like to look at it. I actually like whole numbers better, so I think I'm ready to write the eigenvector. So x2 is equal to 2x1, so this vector is going to look like x, and this is going to be vector x2, because I'm talking about the eigenvalue, lambda 2. It's going to be equal to, well, x1 is itself, and then x2 is 2 times x1. So if I factor out that constant, I'm going to get that for lambda 2 happens to be equal to 2, my eigenvector is going to be x2, which is any multiple of the vector 1, 2. So I've found my eigenvalue, eigenvector pairs for this particular matrix.